Hello everyone, in this uh, video I will be explaining about 7th program of data structure laboratory that is to design, develop and implement a menu driven program in C for the following operations on singly linking list uh, in short SLL of student data with fields USN name, branch, SEM and phone number. Now the first operations we are uh, supposed to do here is create a SLL of EN student data by using front insertion. So that means you have to read uh, uh, while creating uh, SLL or you, when you are calling a function you have to create a function called create and in that you have to call, take uh, in that you have to ask for how many uh, how many students data you want to create. So that count gets stored in n that's why here i am going to use n variable then um, i have to display the status of sll and the count the number of nodes in it uh, perform insertion and deletion at end of sll and perform insertion and deletion at front of sll and demonstrate how this sll can be used as stack and queue and finally exit these are the operations i have to add in sll uh, program now let's understand the implementation of a program. Before understanding the implementation of the program, let me tell you what is linked list. Linked list is a dynamically a collection of dynamically allocated nodes. So what is node? Node will always contain two fields that is uh, data and then link. Link is also called as address. So there are two fields in the node data and link. Now, when it comes to data, data can be many data you can fill like here if I want to create a node for a student, particular student, then I can in the data, I can store many details like USN, split, then name, next branch and SEM, SEM and phone number. Like this I can store many details in on the data. But here since in a singly linked list, the name itself says there is a single link. So we have always a link, single link, only one link at each node and that will hold the address of the next node, address of the next node. Suppose say here uh, this is uh, student 1 data, next we will have node, we have to create a node for student 2, two data, student 2 data. And then if I want to store the student do data, then first I have to create a node and then I should make this link hold the address of this. Suppose address of this is 100, then here it should contain 100. Uh, and uh, the last nodes, last nodes uh, address will be always null. So this portion, the, if this is the last node in your single link list, then this portion, link portion in the last node should be null. And uh, uh, and always the first node, uh, the address should be contained in some node. Say, let me name here it as first. First will hold the address of this first node. Okay, <coughs> that is always required. Otherwise, it is very difficult to proceed further. Next, let's understand the uh, program now. So, as usual, use the header files, header files. And then uh, once after uh, 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 declaring the header files, necessary header files, next we have to declare the variables and the functions. And uh, n I have already told I want to create SLL of n students initially and n will hold the count of that. So I will, uh, if I say n equal to 2, then I am going to create two, no, two student data in a uh, linked list. Then what about these? These are the functions I am going to create. Create is for to create. That is the first operation I am going to perform. So create SLL of n student data by using front insertion. That's why I am using here. Um, create. I am calling the function called create. Then I am uh, uh, using the uh, front insertion and uh, uh, front insertion and end insertion. You can see your function for front insertion and then 
end insertion and then delete front and delete end next display okay display so now here first of all before creating the before creating a node we have to create a structure for it it's it's, it's just like a uh, uh, just like how uh, having a blueprint for a house before constructing so you have to tell how exactly it should be how is exactly the structure of your house the same way here i should tell the structure of a house so struct node because these data will be of different different type so the suitable uh, uh, suitable uh, suitable uh, user defined to hold uh, these various kinds of data is is uh, structure so that i will name it as node struct node and then in this i will hold all these data what are the data character usn of 10 because it's a character array usn should be held uh, it should be of 10 characters then i have to store i have to allocate 10 memory locations for that next name of 10 then branch of 10 sem of 5 phone number of 10 then what is this this is always that is a link portion so this portion is link so in the link portion link portion will hold hold the address of the next node this is a link portion this will hold the address of the next node what is this so suppose this one structure of this is struct node struct node this also will be struct node okay so i am holding the address of the next structure that's why it should be of the link so pointer to pointer to so you should hold the address of the next uh, structure node so next uh, node that's why it should be struct node star pointer to that address okay it's a structure pointer which uh, and structure pointer will be held by the name link and remember remember how do you access these contents suppose i have this is the data i have usn name name and then branch branch then first of all you have come to know that what is the data type of this this is struct node okay this is struct node so first of all if if i want to refer this node okay let me name this as struct node star temp for example i'm telling uh, let me name this as struct struct node temp so this node's name is temp so how do i access this field first of all create a variable of this type your data type user defined data type and then what you have to do based using this name you have to refer this temp arrow usn temp name how do i access this temp branch and so on this is how we have to access the individual elements okay next we'll look at uh, we'll see the next line of the program so as i told earlier once after creating the nodes once after creating the nodes always the first node of the first node of the link should be first node of the add link or address need to be need to be information address need to be stored in some variable called first or head anything you can name it i am here referring this first node with the address first okay so initially before the creation of before the creation of a node this address of the first will be null which is also of the type struct because this should hold the node's address that is also of the data type struct node star okay struct node star so remember this next so that's why initially this need to be none so you can see here i have created the structure and after that what struct node star first i have made it null and also i have created one more variable called temp that is required for me uh, for, uh, for the node creation so here i have used one more variable i have declared one more variable it's it's similar to 
see it, this is similar to how you declare a variable for int in 10 so in 10 it is a data type isn't it let me write and tell you suppose in 10 is a data type and how do you create a variable n comma m so on isn't it now your struct node star is a data type struct node star is a data type what's the name first comma temp so this is what i did here okay and uh, suppose you want to initialize n equal to 0 you will write it as int n equal to 0 comma m so now here what i am going to do first equal to null then comma temp the same way i have created here hope you have understood this next that's about the declaration of the variable whenever you want to declare a variable of type struct mode star then you have to create in the same way next i will create a node i will call create a node why i am going to create a node you know that to create a linked list first you need to create node okay create node means what you create for every node you have to give a structure give a structure and in that structure you should you should do what uh, you should store the values in it for example if this is a node first node so how do i create a structure for this because i want how many field usn name branch sem and then phone number after that link after that link so this is a portion for link this is all our data all our data will be stored one after the other okay now i want to create a structure like this how do i create a structure like this hmm? so that is why i have to use structure creating in the sense what i have to allocate a memory i have to allocate a memory right so how do i do that so for that i will use a function called malloc I will use a function called menu. Whereas here you know that you are supposed to uh, allocate a memory for a data type struct node star. Because if you know that, if suppose if I am going to allocate a uh, memory location for an integer element, it would be something like t equal to int star, int star, malloc, malloc, size of, size of int. This is how I store whereas here a data type is struct node star and what is this uh, data type of int star isn't it so same here data type you can observe this data type and then size of struct int size of int instead of that struct node here okay so this is of pointer type because we are going to deal with the memory right and you know that malloc finally returns the returns the memory to uh, memory location to temp so this temp will hold the memory location of the node which is going to it is just created and remember create node always after creating the node it will name this as temp because temp will hold the address of this node okay now you know that this is just a structure and it is nothing is assigned here how do i insert the value I will enter the data to be inserted. First, I will ask for USN and as I said, how do you access individual element? Temp USN, temp name, temp branch. You, I will write here USN. This will be name. Next, branch. Next, SEM. SEM and then phone number. Phone number this is branch phone number and this will be link link you need not tell anything okay is it clear so this and you can tell your slump a uh, temp link is initially and um, so whenever after creating you can make temp link as null even if you write this nothing wrong in it okay so this portion initially it is null okay because no address as assignment assigned so now this is how you are going to create. So every time whenever I am going to do insert front function or insert and 
I am going to call this create node and create node is going to do this job. Okay, just create a node and then temp will be assigned to it. If you add this uh, data here, this particular portion also will be assigned with the value null. Means what? Address is not at assigned. Okay, next. This is about the creating node, just creating node. So, remember create node is used to create a node for an individual student and then in the name would be temp name would be temp whenever i call create node function the name of that created node would be temp okay next i'll move on to the create function this is what i'm supposed to do here what did uh, i have told that i am going to ask for how many number of nodes i want to create in the how many number of nodes i want to create that's why enter the number of elements to be inserted in the list so this will take the count and scan a percentage d ampersand n so now n will ask for me how many number of nodes you want to create for linked list then i will tell n equal to 2 if i say n equal to 2 then what happens while one becomes zero go on calling the insert front function that is when i call when n is 2 n is 2 i will call insert front function i will call ins i will tell about insert front function later okay when n is 1 again n minus minus it will become n becomes 1 n becomes 1 again i will call insert front function okay what happens then n minus minus n will become 0 when n becomes 0 you have finished creating two nodes in the linked list you have formed a, or i can tell you have formed the linked list with two nodes now let me tell what this insert front is going to do okay what this insert front is going to do and what this insert front is going to do for that we have to see insert front function insert front function Now, in the insert function, I will call create node function, create node function. See, everywhere I have highlighted with the red color, insert front portion and I have closed it. So, that means whatever happens within the insert function will end between these two, end between these opening bracket and closing bracket. Okay. So, you can write here also no problem. Okay, that's about hmm. now regarding create node. Create node will do what the, I'm talking about when n equal to do I call I will call insert front function. What insert front is going to do? It is going to call create node. So it is going to call create node and enter the data. That is, it will allocate the memory for the structure of structure. Okay, it will allocate the, or I can tell it will allocate the memory for the node and then and then store the details in that asking from me asking from the user so one node will be created let me so what create node is it's going to create this and then what the name of this will be temp name of this will be temp and this structure will be created and this will be a data portion data portion and then what i will do in the create node you have seen already create node will read the read the values for usn you can write something like 4cb and so on so next uh, the you uh, after usn name name xyz okay then uh, semester then branch then um, then what phone number all these details i'm going to store okay then i will go to enter this is how the create node this is what create node is going to do okay one two three four five okay. phone number i will store then what after that once create node finishes its job this is what it is going to do then we should tell this is part of the this is part of the 
linked list how do we tell that is the temp link will be equal to first the temp link is equal to first what's the value of the first initially initially the first value is null i have told when i declared this variable first is null okay initially temp link is first so this portion is i am declared it as null that's why i have not assigned here actually since i am going to use this way temp link will be equal to first so first value will be assigned here then what and then i am going to tell that this first is nothing but temp first is nothing but temp suppose the temps this node's address is 100 temp is nothing but 100 now i am telling first is also 100 so this a node itself is the first node okay next what i will do i will again call insert front for the second time when i call insert front what is going to happen what's going to happen when i second time i call the insert front function you can see here again create node will be called already you have called one isn't it you already have called one and whose address is 10 so this itself is your temp temp is nothing but address actually a memory location some value will be having it so first also will be having the same address that is 10 next what i will do i will call for the second time insert front when i call insert front i will first call create node it will call create node it will create one node and then i will store the details in that all the details us and name branch all the details i will store and the name of this right now is temp so that means so earlier it was temp now what this would be the temp so it was overwritten so that's why i have declared this temp as global variable so everybody will access it okay so usn name branch and this portion so this is our created create node will do that then what i'm going to do when i call say temp link equal to first temp link this portion it will be equal to first that means this will hold first address what is first first is now 100 first is now 100 so this will that means it is same as doing this this is linked to this now this has holding the address of the next node that means there is a link there's a link happen between the, between these two node so you can see that second when i call the call second time insert front the latest node is the uh, latest node becomes the first node so this week is becomes so any more this should not be first first should not be 100 so let's assume temp is nothing but 200 any more first should get first should get 200 value so that's why first need to be assigned with temp that's why this line okay so any more this will be first so first value is overwritten so this is lost earlier value of first is lost okay earlier value of first is lost so what's the meaning of this is null is it clear so that is about insert front if you have any question regarding this you can put it in the comment box okay. next we'll see what is insert end insert end now let's assume already we have created already we have created uh, two nodes already we have created two nodes so i will not insert all the details this is the first student data and the link okay so this is the second student data and the link okay is it clear then this will hold, this is the, uh, the this holds the address 100 and this holds the address 200 okay 
now this is the link list right now we have we want to insert the insert the node to the end insert the node to the end so how exactly it is going to work insert end is going to work okay first time we are going to check that first time we are going to check that whether it is the whether there are uh, whether there are any nodes in the list or not suppose if there is no nodes in the list then you should uh, create a fresh you have to create a fresh node and uh, then name it as first okay now let's assume i have already created a node i have already uh, there is in the link list there are already two nodes you are going to uh, you are not going to you are going to place the created node at the end that means you are going to create the node at here end means here so third node you are going to create okay so now that's why i have created one more variable of struct node type t and create node create node will do the creation of the node then t is equal to first so you know that whenever uh, that is already it is already created uh, the link list has been created and the first node is uh, first node's address is assigned to first okay that now what i will do i will assign the first node address to t also t variable also t is right now it is not equal to null right now it is equal to 100 okay right now it is equal to 100 then what i am going to do while t link i want to find the i want to find the last node how do i find the last node that is why i'll use while loop that is why i'll use while loop while t not equal to null yes currently it is not equal to null t is equal to t link so t is equal to t link so it becomes this t is equal to t link okay now t link means what t link means it is holding the address of 200 this is this is right now it is null so t equal to t link so any more t is 200 t is link is 200 so any more t is 200 that means it is pointing to this node okay now what again while loop t link because while terminates only when while terminates only when the condition becomes false now the t link is equal to null t is link is equal to null this is null right that means we have found the last node okay so t link equal to null condition becomes false so why from this statement is directly jumping to this statement and then already we have created a node isn't it and its name is temp its name is temp and now t is link should hold temp see you can see here temp now address is 300 so this should t link should hold the address 300 So that means that's a link created between this and this. As soon as you execute this line, there's a link created between this node and this node. Okay. This is what the uh, case in case of inserted. If there are already nodes in the link list, let us assume there are no nodes in the list. No nodes in the list. In that case, what to do? In that case. that you have, you have created already a node isn't it let's imagine you have created one node and that nodes uh, that node's name you know that it is temp and make this as first make this first need to be assigned with temp address that is if temp is this is 300 temp is nothing but 300 assign the value the temp to first that is what i have done here so this case is if no nodes in the list if no nodes in the list then you do first equal to temp first equal to temp so next we'll see the next uh, function now we'll see the delete end function so delete end function starts from here void delete and then the closing will be after this line so closing will be here 
okay and whatever uh, you want to do from uh, uh, delete end function that should be within this open bracket and the closing bracket of a delete end function let us uh, let us first see the declarations so there are uh, two uh, uh, temporary variables i have taken that is one is named as current and previous these are struct node pointer variables struct node pointer variables current and previous which will hold the address of a particular node why am i using current and why am i using the previous so here i am going to in this function i am going to delete um, the last node delete the last so every call of delete end is going to delete the last node and remember here insert print whether it is insert print or whether it is uh, insert last that is going to that is every call of that function is going to perform on only one node whether it is delete or insert so here delete end as i told two variables i have declared current and previous current is going to identify the last node of the linked list last node of the linked list and uh, previous will hold the address of the last but one node suppose let us consider there are three nodes there are three nodes three nodes so let us assume the address are 200 and 300 so as i told this uh, node will uh, the this node will hold the address of the next uh, node so this link is 200 here it is 300 whereas this portion is null because it is the last node okay now as uh, usual always first will be uh, first is the variable pointing to the first uh, node's address so first will hold 100 okay now initially current is first so here uh, before deleting the node that is i want to delete the last node this node i want to delete so that's why i cannot jump to the last node directly that's why i have to traverse from this node till the last node so how do i do that <coughs> so that's why i am going to use these where two variables current and previous current finally after traversing one after the other it will hold this node's address and previous will hold this that is last but one node's address so why so that finally i want even uh, we after deleting this node current node okay after deleting this node the last node this portion need to make need to make null that's why i want even the address of this that's why i am using the two variables okay so in this case i have assumed there are three nodes in that case first time current equal to first so initially current is pointing to this node current also is this node so this is current current is not equal to null right now because current is 100 this location current is pointing to this node means its address is 100 so current is also right now 100 okay next if current is not equal to null after this line execution then i will come if current is not equal to null yes current is not null current is 100 so then we'll go to this while loop while loop will be executed while the loop will be executed if there are more than one node more than one node so current's link is not null current's link is not null yes there are that means that there is more than one node so current link is not null if so previous equal to current so previous equal to current so what happens previous equal to current so previous will get this value current value and current will get current link what is current is 100 100s link is 300 so current gets updated so now current will come here so current will come here previous is here so you can see. so previous goes to here so this is previous and whereas this is first to two okay okay next this is 100 and this is two. so right now where is current again i will go back to while loop while is k 
keep repeating this set of statements until this condition becomes false so now current link current link because this portion is link right how do i access this portion that is link current link this portion based on usn or name or whatever so current link is not equal to null yes if so previous equal to current what's the previous equal to current previous equal to 200 current nodes address is 200 and current will be equal to current link current's link is now 300 so that means current will go to this location so current will go to this location okay and previous will come here previous so this is how the the pointer gets moved from one location to one node to other so pre current now what about next again i'll check current link whether it is equal to null not equal to null whether current is 300 300 link position is now null yes it is true so condition fails then what i will do i will check whether the current node is is the first node i i want to verify that is there only one node in the link list if if it is only one node obviously it is the first node whether current and first address are same no in our case no so if so what you are going to make you want to make this lay so far previous was holding this now this link you make it null this link you make it null okay this is the l case if there is more than one that is what you are going to and delete free this so that's why before freeing see here if if this condition is true then this statement gets executed if this condition is false then state this statement is gets executed so here this is the statement this state these two statements are definitely going to execute okay only for this we have a condition if this is true then this otherwise this but this is the definite statement definite statement because it's it's going to execute compulsorily so that's why the deleted nodes current node is this okay it's uh, it's information gets displayed here after that you need to free the current don't free the current before displaying the details of the current if you display the uh, if you free the current before displaying the details then what else so you will not get the uh, valid data here you might get a garbage value okay that's why before freeing the uh, before uh, deallocating the memory allocated to the current you have to display the details of it and then free it okay so free of current will deallocate the memory allocated for that particular node this is about uh, delete last node if there are more than one node for example if there is only one node in the list then how exactly it's going to work so you have called you have called the delete end but there is only one node in the list in that case what you have to do so that's why i will show this this is a data field this is a data field okay this is a link field and data field we have many usn name all those i will not write here okay i have only one node in the list and this itself is first this itself is the first node as well as last node okay now what initially current equal to first so this itself becomes current okay as i told there is only one node in the list this itself becomes the current so you are going to check whether current is not equal to null yes current is not equal to null there are node in, nodes in the list there are nodes in the list suppose current is equal to null that means if it gets if there are no nodes in the list then what happens you will directly go to else part and we are going to display that you are going to display that there are no elements there are no elements. you can see here this particular portion gets executed next if if there is only one node then how exactly this portion so as i said current is not equal to null then it is going to check this whether current link not equal to null is true 
this this portion will execute only if there are more than one node but whereas in our case there is only one node so that's why this portion will not be executed the while loop statements will not execute instead of that it goes to if statement and checks whether current equal to current whether current node itself is your first node yes this itself is your last node so in that case in that case first will first you are going to make it null first is a side way null okay and then once this gets we are going to come here and the deleted node is print the print the details of it after that after that free the memory allocated to current memory allocated to current node okay that particular node so this is what happens in the this is what happens in the delete mode next we'll see delete front what is delete front so first of all let us assume there are no nodes in the list because you have to always see all the possible conditions what happens if there is only no nodes in the list and what happens if there are nodes in the list and sometimes if it is necessary you have to always see that what happens if there is only one node in the list these are the three cases generally you have to check okay sometimes regarding one node and many nodes you can uh, 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 execute or implement that in a one particular uh, in a, as of one set you can execute that as of one set so as i told if there are no nodes in the list then what happens the delete front uh, it is going to check whether first is first is first itself you are going to check that whether first is not equal to null if suppose first equal to null it means that there are no nodes in the list always remember first is equal to null means there are no nodes in the list that means yet to create the nodes for a list so directly you are going to tell that there are no elements in the list suppose there are more than one node suppose there are more than one node in that case how you are going to how you are going to execute we assume that there are two nodes two nodes and uh, this is a this is a link portion this is a data portion and this is a link portion this is a data portion and this is a link portion okay so whenever you are uh, de uh, dealing with the uh, link list you always deal with the memories locations so now first of all i have taken one more variable called this is not required previous i have not used it here so this variable is not required so one variable i am going to use that is t t uh, this and as you know that always uh, first will be called first is a variable which will hold the address of the first node which will hold the just the address of the first node okay so t equal to first so let's assume the address of this is 100 and this is 200 so first will be 100 then first will be holding the value 100 so t also will be this t also equal to first so first is not equal to null if so if so what you have to do if you in case of delete front you are supposed to delete the front node that is the first node of the list that means this one i have to delete if i delete this then what happens this should become any more first this should become any more first that is why how do you do that first need to be assigned with first need to be assigned with 200 so who will have 200 at this this link portion this one will have this so first need to be assigned with first link first need to be assigned with first link then delete the in uh, in uh, print the deleted nodes information and free the memory allocated to this particular node t node okay 
this is what you are supposed to do now what so if we have to delete now if i want to delete this node also so any more this got deleted now this again call the delete front this will become t t equal to first and first will be equal to first link so what do you mean by that first will be equal to first link means first becomes null first becomes null and after that you print this information whatever information data field information print it like this t gives uh, t arrow usn and so on okay after that after that you are freeing the memory allocated to this node that is 200 node so its address is stored in the variable t so the side freeing t so this is about delete front finally you have deleted even this this is about delete front and now we have again if you call delete front what happens t will be assigned with null because first is now null first has no elements in it means first will be assigned with null so what happens directly you go to else part and uh, else part and it will display it will display no elements so this is about the delete front function and finally the last function we are going to dis, uh, explain here is display what about display display is here to display the status of the node that's why as well as number of nodes in the list so that's why i have declared here variable called count and then i'm going to use one temporary variable called temp and if first is equal to null it is going to tell me that list is empty you have to return from there okay next if temp equal to then if there are many nodes in the list let's assume uh, there are many nodes in the list then what then let's assume this is the first node second node and third initially what you will do you this is itself is your first so tem also you make it first so first of all until tem becomes null until tem becomes null you have to go on traversing mode first time well tem equal to not l so this time tem is not equal to null display the details of this node so print f print f and so and so so display this to so first node's detail will be displayed and then make tem equal to tem link so now for example this is 200 this is 300 and this is 400 okay so this will hold the address of the next node so this portion will hold so it will have 300 this will have 3 so tem equal to tem link will have now 300 so next uh, what happens again it will check in the next iteration of a while loop tem is not equal to null that means tem has come here tem is not equal to null display the details of it print the detail of second node then tem equal to tem link so tem link is 400 tem link is 400 tem becomes 400 so that means this node so tem will come here now print the details of that particular node that particular node so third node's details also you will enter and temp will become temp link what is temp's link temp's link is null because it's the last node null so temp becomes null if temp link becomes null the come out of the while loop come out of the while loop come out of the while loop and then and then display display the number of nodes also because every time whenever i was processing the nodes whenever i was processing through the nodes or traversing through the nodes i was also even counting the i was also even counting the nodes so that you can see here there was a variable called uh, count count plus plus was there which was counting the number of nodes i was traversing okay uh, so finally it is going to print uh, once the while loop terminates it will print the number of nodes which is equal to count minus 
because initially count was initialized as 1 if you initialize count as 0 then uh, here you are going to get the correct value so count minus so count 3 count becomes 3 in our case next uh, the, uh, I have uh, told while explaining the in the initial uh, that is while I was explaining the aim of the experiment the last one was to demonstrate uh, yes, SLL as stack and SLL as uh, Q. I have not uh, uh, written the implementation for SLL as Q but I have written the implementation for SLL as yes, SLL as stack. SLL as Q for that I have not written the implementation but for SLL as stack I have written the implementation it is not necessary you can even demonstrate stack by using insert front or in, uh, insert end or insert uh, the, uh, delete end or delete front making use of this you can also demonstrate how exactly uh, the single link list can work like a stack or Q ok now I will show the implementation for this that's why SLL stack, this is a print statement. Then I will ask for the choice. Since I want a stack, stack is nothing but uh, always uh, insert, insert to the last. Last in, first out. So last insert and first out, out. out. So that's why insert at last I am going to call. And then delete it, delete it last. So here the nodes will create like this first node second node and the third one this is the last one to be inserted now even you want to delete also this one last so this one need to be because you know that uh, in the stack you insert an element insert an element the latest element you are going to delete first so that's why insert last and delete last so that's why I'm going going to call in the in the switch case I'm going to call insert end function and delete function. Okay, then I have added the display function for the same so that I can display the contents. So this is about a SLLS stack. Let me show you the the continuation of uh, SLLS stack. So this is delete end after that I am calling a display function then I am going to finish that particular implementation and come, come to the main menu and main menu I will do my normal steps. Let us see the main menu what are the things we are going to include. So into choice 1 I have initialized choice not equal to 8 certain uh, in while choice not equal to 8 these things will keep repeating what are the things which are going to uh, once you press 8 it will exit from the menu it will exit from the menu that's why so other than that case 1 will be your create function you call a create function you can see here this is the function name earlier function name was void create void create this was the function name right I am going to just call this then insert front then break in delete front then break display break insert end break delete and break and SLL stack and uh, eighth one is eighth one is the exit function that is once you finish with all these choices if you press it it will come out of the main menu okay this is about the program and uh, this portion if you see here this will uh, display a menu for me like 1 create 2 insert front 3 3 delete from front all those menu gets displayed from this particular printer after that it will ask me to it will display enter enter your choice and then it will uh, since I have written here a scanner then it will uh, wait for me to or a user to enter a choice which choice you want to take from here okay that is what happens in the uh, main menu this is about the 
सेवेंथ प्रोग्राम ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर लैबोरेटरी सो लेट अस सी नाउ द द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एस आई टोल्ड अर्लियर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द टीरियम जेसीसी कंपाइलर so now i am going to compile the program sll.c that is single linked list uh, program using a gcc compiler here i am going to make use of a tdm gcc compiler and which i can uh, 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 which i am going to run in a windows system and uh, the same command can be used even in the linux system but uh, the compilation is uh, steps with same whereas running the uh, program is uh, different from the Uh, linux system in the linux system you dash just have to type dot slash sll that is sufficient and uh, here i am going to use start sll start sll so it it opens like this the uh, in case of windows you will get a menu and menu will have several options from create till exit so first i will uh, use the first option and uh, it will ask me to they select uh, enter the number of nodes that need to be present in the linked list so in this case i will press uh, enter to then i will uh, enter the usn1 then i will enter the name aa then i will enter the branch is next i will enter the branch 3 sem3 phone number phone number next i will enter one more details 2 and then uh, details vb next branch is next phone number next uh, sorry instead of phone number i wrote sem uh, phone number uh, so next i will display the details and you can see that the initially i have entered the usn one detail next i have entered using two details but as i told uh, while i was explaining create is going to use insert front operation that's why the first node which i have entered will go to the will uh, be or will go to the last last in the linked list because this will be one node and this will be no, second node second node will come to the first and the first node will go to the last that's why you can see that in the uh display if i display you can see here the second node will come in the first and then the last node so next i will perform a delete front so i will call delete front then i will try to insert end so I, that's why and remember all these insert front delete insert end delete from end will perform on only one node whether it is inserting or deleting next i will enter uh, insert one more details from the end so enter the details of the data to be entered 3 name is cc branch is is then the sem is 3 then the phone number is next i will display 4 so this got displayed uh, the display displays all the information now the, the when i called insert end Three is updated in the end. Three information, instant three information is updated in the end. So this also displays the number of nodes. Display also displays the number of nodes present in the in the linked list. Now if I want to delete from end, uh, delete from end, you can see uh, I have to choose sixth option. So last node got deleted. So you can now if I try to display four. only one node will be present in the list so number of nodes is one then i will perform delete from front so one more node got deleted now again if i try to perform delete front it is going to show me no elements in the list so this is what the uh, compilation or the running of sll uh, program